one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Over and over again. Going right back to the start. Starting from where we begin. And I don't wanna be your friend. I just wanna be your love. And even if I'm chasing you, chasing you is good enough. So today we are going to be taking you down memory lane with us. We are back in Melbourne. As many of you will know, but not all of you, Max and I actually met in the city while I was living here on a year working holiday visa from Canada. Almost three years ago to the day, actually. It's, it's true. So we're reminiscing anyway. We thought it'd be fun to show you some of our favorite parts of the city. We're starting here on Chapel Street. I worked on Chapel, lived around here for a bit, as well as Max had worked here, or lived here for a year too. Yeah. And we are almost what is known as the opposite of city vloggers. So we are very out of our ele element here, but interested to see how it but goes. But this is our favorite city, so we wanted to share it with you. Yeah. So as Lee just alluded to, Melbourne itself is famous for its cafe culture and more importantly, coffee culture. It has actually been rated as the best coffee in the world and it is for a reason. This is where I fell in love with coffee. It's almost more common to go out for brunch in Australia than it is for dinner and I absolutely love that. And so does Lee and it's a big thing that we want to go I feel like a kid again, like summer nights that never end. I feel like I'm 21, so easily falling in love. I open my, open my heart, and I feel brand new. There's no denying that it is a little more pricey eating out in Australia. That brunch came to $47, which is on the more expensive side. But in saying that, you don't tip. Some people may not know, but there's no tipping culture in Australia. Instead, the restaurants actually pay their staff what they should. And the cost is, the cost is built in. There's also no tax added on top. The tax is also built in. So yeah, so the average meals, for example, of $18 and what you see is what you pay. There's no hidden fees, yeah. but it seems way more expensive up front. And the average server would be getting about 23 to 25 bucks an hour. Yeah, and minimum wage here right now is eight, just over $18 an hour. And the most restaurants pay penalty rates on weekends and have incentive. A lot of restaurants here get free food when you work there, which is nice. Yeah, and because baristas, the coffee makers are in such high demand, a barista can be on up to $40 an hour. If yeah, being a barista here is a full-time career. So now that we're fueled up, you're gonna head into the CBD, which is Central Business District. We'll see you there. So we have just made a pit stop to the Botanical Gardens. We are looking for a spot to host our picnic today as today we're having our first ever meetup. The gardens is a really special place to both of us, but I really fell in love with the gardens when I moved here and lived here for a year. I'd often come for a run at the tan and then go for breakfast with friends. I also was able to walk around the gardens on my way to work. So I just love this lush landscape right beside the CBD. It is just spectacular. So in true Melbourne style, it was forecast to be not that warm today and Melbourne is known for having four seasons in one day. Started off a bit chilly this morning, but now we are sweating it up. Melbourne is also famously known for its lane pace. Behold myself higher than There are the ones that tend to fall. 
So I was about to give you guys a couple of quick facts about Australia and two more of our subs have just come up to us. Eliane and Gary, come say hi. Eliane. Eliane, Gary from hey, San yeah. Francisco. Yes. yes. So okay, stoked they saw us. Originally Switzerland, so stoked they came up to us and they're doing a great ocean road next week. Tomorrow. 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 And then the Penguin Island. Oh, Philip Phil 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 Island. Island. Yeah. And, and everything you always said about yeah. Australia, it's all true. We, we've only been here a day and a half yeah. and we just are not off our... I'm loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone that we have come in contact with has been so oh. giving. And yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what you want to hear about your own country, so I'm glad. They're making me proud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Excuse are me. exactly like... I don't want to So nice to meet you. Oh. Right and, and travel <laughs> safe <laughs> without the. Nice to meet you too, Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I see you guys standing yeah. right here. It's so, you never think you will meet. Yeah. Meet well, those we people don't you feel watch like... on the vlog. And, and we're excited. Yes. We're just yeah, excited. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they were so nice, so cute. But the fact I was about to say about Australia is that Australia is the only nation to eat its national emblems, which is the kangaroo and the emu. And the reason the kangaroo and the emu are actually our national emblem is because neither of them can walk backwards. Quick fact for you, it's about Australia moving forwards. Yeah. Emu burger. Kangaroo burger. Good on you, mates. Say, sorry, Lee. I find kombucha disgusting. I know that's going to bring hate on me, but Max, Shh. gross. Anyway, we definitely enjoy the CBD. However, it is busy. It is very touristy. I spent a lot of time down here working. There's a bunch of good nightclubs. Other than that, we tend to spend more of our time in the outer suburb neighborhoods in Melbourne. And we're bringing you to a very, very special place next. It's in Fitzroy. I'll leave some locals hanging for a second and let them guess where we're taking you and I'll let you know when we get there. Sorry, quickly. I wanted to quickly <laughs> say thank you so much for all the feedback I received on my hat from last week's episode. I think the general consensus were very on the fence. There was a 50-50. <laughs> like I and, said. Which was kind of where I was at too. But it's definitely going to stay in the arsenal. You can never have too many hats. But before we get to the bar, it's time to derobe a bit because it is way too bloody hot. So the bar we're heading to now is where Max and I had our first date almost three years ago to this day. And what many of you do know, but some might not know, is that we actually met on Tinder. Yeah, Sasha's <laughs> sister swiped yes to me for Lee Hashtag on her account. thank you, Sasha. And is the sole reason that we ever met. So we are forever grateful to Sasha. Yeah. I think she'll forever hold it a little bit over our heads, but that's okay. <laughs> and this place is not only just special to us, but it's probably one of the best rooftop views of the city of Melbourne. So we're just gonna have a quick drink and relax and reminisce before we head to our meetup in a few hours, or an hour or so now. Yeah. being very nervous on this elevator coming up by myself on a blind Tinder date. And I remember seeing this bombshell come out of the elevator and there was a guy working here in the elevator with her that was already chatting her up and I was devastated. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys agree that I nailed the first date location? I do. Max agrees. 
As well as seeing friends and family on this trip, it has been so much fun just reminiscing on the early days of our Continue relationship. On State Route 32 for one and we are now kilometers. heading toward our meetup at the Botanical Gardens. We are both excited, a little bit nervous, but mainly excited to finally be able to connect with some of you in person. We are at our meetup location in Melbourne for our first ever meetup with you guys, our subscribers, followers, other people that are part of this journey. And I have to admit, we are bloody packing our dacks. We're a little bit nervous. This is the first time we've ever done something like this. We have no idea how many of you are gonna turn up, but either way, whether it's five people or 50 people, we are just excited to meet you all. We've recruited some help for the meetup. My mum is here and we got her a little gift because mum has been mum has been one of our key recruiters for subscribers. If you're wondering how we've grown so quickly, it's because of mum. She has been word of mouth, she's been telling everyone and have a look at this little gift we got her. Can I open it? Yeah. Put my glasses on. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Yay! Now I'll be able to hand this out to people instead of writing it laboriously on bits of yeah. paper. Fantastic. So what have you got? So <laughs> I think that's the ever, back. Uh, second ever, but first Here's the front. It's so cool. Proud mum of Max and Lee <laughs> and Oki. New video every Sunday. <laughs> oh my god. And then where to find us. <laughs> that is so great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bad yeah. mum, all right. It's 40 degrees. <laughs> and I'm here in the park. Yeah. <laughs> to have Lee and Max here in Melbourne. <laughs> Lucy oh, Ryan's here. I'm not too shy. <laughs> Die away from the camera. How about our youngest subscriber hey, over here? Roman. Hi Roman. Hello. We got Brian over here. Oh, lovely to meet you guys. So glad yeah. you could make it down to Melbourne. getting a little later in the day. It is now 8 p.m. The meetup was supposed to go till seven, but we're having such a good time catching up with these guys. And I think one of the things that we've been like happiest about is not only are we having a great time meeting them, but they're also really bonding with each other because we'd like to think that a lot of you watching are really like-minded people and are keen to adventure and get out there. Half the people here are planning their own van conversions. And yeah, I think we're just so stoked that such nice people are watching our content and I want to think that that's all of you out there and I'm sure it is so I know we've said it before but thank you again for being part of this wonderful community and honestly adds so much to our travels and our time that we get such positive support and feedback from you guys. What an afternoon we are absolutely humbled and blown away by and spending. And exhausted. I'm not exhausted I'm fired up. I, I, feel feel like that's, I feel like that's the exact sign of our different personalities. Lee, like social, socializing for Lee, like makes her so excited for more socializing. Whereas for me, I'm like, I got my fill. I had a wonderful time, but now I'm ready for a bit of me time, like yeah. read a book. I'm ready to keep socializing. Yeah. I'm fueled up. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. We had a great time and we look forward to be able to host more meetups and connect with more of you in person. Yeah. And what I'd actually be really interested in is where everyone's from from around the globe because yeah. we want to yeah, find out where we, don't we can actually meet up. know so leave leave a comment on this video and let us know what country that you're from yeah. so that we can state and country so we can get a good idea whereabouts you are that would yeah. be amazing thank yeah. you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week i'll kick the ball if you go there i'll kick the ball towards okay. you